Good morning, students. Um, Ms. Meadows has asked me to help you guys with something uh, that, that's come up. And that is, uh, first, how to take a picture using your Chromebook of your um, pieces of art that you have completed. And I've seen a few of those and they look really good. So I'll first teach you how to take a photograph and then I'll teach you how to upload that to Ms. Meadows' campus page. So uh, give me just a second, I'm gonna share uh, a Chromebook screen with you guys so that we can all see something that, that we kind of recognize. And, and again, this is exactly what you should see on your computer as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is, is I'm going to want to take a picture of the piece of art that I've completed. Um, and it's not really an intuitive process on how to get there. So the first thing you do is, is you click this button then you go to this one and click it, and then you'll see your camera. And when you click on the camera, there you go. And you'll have a choice of doing a video or doing a photo. So we're going to take a photo of, I'll take a photo of this. So I'll put it in front of my camera there, kind of like that maybe, there we go. And I take the photo. I believe it's going to be backwards, but we'll, we'll see. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, so after I've taken my photo, it's automatically now saved in my Chromebook. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to first log on to Chrome. And remember, you always hit the home button there to get to your Canvas page. Uh, and of course, you've been completing a assignment for Miss Meadows in art. So I'm going to open that up. And then she has her assignments within her modules. And down here is where you're gonna be uploading your drawing. Now there's two different ways you can do this. One, you can send it as an attachment or you can embed it um, into um, the pictures as well. Uh, embed the picture into the response that you give her. Either way, uh, she's going to be able to pull up your picture. So I just click reply. And then when I scroll down here, um, I can either again attach the picture or I can embed the picture into my response. Um, and really the difference would be is um, Miss Meadows would be the only person that could see the attached file. Um, but everyone in your class could see the embedded file if you click that. So if you wanted to make sure that all your friends got to see your awesome piece of art, this is the one that you would use. So I click the button and I want to upload an image. And then it's going to take me to this uh, spaceship. And all you do is, is you, you click on the spaceship and it's going to ask you, well, where do you want to get your picture from? Well, I want to go to images because that is where all my pictures are from. So I click on the picture and, and you will have to kind of look. Um, I believe, yes, if you click that button, it becomes a bigger picture. So it's easier for you to see or you can leave it um, small. That's totally up to you. And so I, I can either double click it or uh, click the open. And there's the picture I want to submit. And so then I click submit. And there is my picture. And then I would go down here and I would click post reply. And then it would go into um, there for Miss Meadows and she can pull the picture off and use that um, is part of a larger art project she's work, working on. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. Um, definitely, if you, if you have any more questions for Miss Meadows about how best to upload pictures and stuff like that, please don't hesitate to reach out to her um, and we'll try to get you guys an answer as soon as possible. Okay, thank you.